Welcome back to the Medicine channel. In this video, we are going to talk about the differences between the four P's. And you know what these four P's stands for? These four P's stands for pathogen, parasite, parasitoid, and the predator. So let's just discuss them one by one. For one, we have a pathogen. Pathogen are the, are the disease-causing organisms. Disease-causing organisms or disease-causing agents cause sickness to their host which harvests them in which they are living. And the pathogens are mostly of the six types. We have the viruses, the bacteria, yes, fungi, protozoa, helminthesis, and the rickettsia. The disease the pathogen cause are here some listed below. Here you can see flu and the common cold caused by the viruses. On the other hand, we have a tuberculosis caused by the bacteria in which the person feels the severe coughing. Ringworm caused by the fungi and the trichomoniasis caused by the protozoal parasite. Now we can see the pathogen transmitted through the skin contact, bodily fluid and the airborne pathogen. Now we have a number two point, we have a parasite. What is a parasite? You all are the familiar of this word. These are the organisms that live outside or inside of another organism. The another organism which harbors the parasite is the host. And a parasite always harms the host in which it is living. And there are three types of the parasite, namely protozoa, helminthesis and dectoparasite. These are smaller than their host and usually don't kill their host. Transmitted through the contaminated soil, food and the blood. Here we can see how the flies and mosquitoes infect the person through the food. Now the difference between the pathogen and the parasite. Basically there is no big difference between these. These both are the organism and they both causes the severe diseases in the host organism. For, uh, pathogen is the organism that causes the diseases. Parasites can be the category of the pathogen. Pathogens are the microorganisms, they are the protozoa, they are the, you know, uh, single cell organisms. On the other hand, parasites are the macroorganisms. All the pathogens need to survive in their host, while the parasite drives the benefit from the host in which it is living. Here we can see the various types are of the pathogen. Yes. Amoeba, viruses, bacteria. On the other hand, we have a parasite types. Here we can see the protozoa, helminthesis, amoeba, flagellates, sporozoa, ciliates, etc. And now we can see the parasitoid. What is a parasitoid? A parasitoid is a type of the parasite, but a parasitoid don't always kill their host. Always kill their host. Parasite don't kill. Parasitoid kill. There are 68,000 species of the parasite. Here we can see the Trichogramma wasp species. It is laying eggs. It is ovipositing. Ovipositing means it is laying eggs into the host larval species. And the host larval species from its egg come out as a big adult wasp. So it is a parasitoid. The term parasitoid is usually applied to certain insects that have a free living adult stage that lay eggs inside a host and the eggs go to parasitize and eventually kill the host. For example, the Trichogramma was a species, like it did. Now we have a predator. Everybody is familiar of the predator. We have learned it from the, uh, you know, one to two classes. One predator eats multiple prey during the predator's lifetime and predator tend to be get bigger than their prey and predator tend to kill their prey. These are three points a predator contain. If you see in the forest, a lion eats the uh, any other organism, so it is a predator. Any other organism we are taking here, the example of the cow, it is eating the cow, then the cow is a prey, the lion is a predator. Now we have a micro predator. What is the difference between the micro predator and predator? There is no big difference, but micro predator don't always kill their host, unlike the Predator. Predator kill, micro predator don't kill. Here we have a good example like we have a vampire beat. If he is hungry, hungry, and you want to eat something, 
if he is taking the blood from the cow, then what he will be? Predator or the micro predator? Definitely it will be the micro predator because it is not killing the cow. So here we can say that a single vampire bait will take the blood meals from multiple cows during a slight time. It is eating multiple play, therefore it is predator. But it is just not killing killing the cow and it is not bigger than them, it is a micro predator. Now I have a big question for you. Question for you is that if you own a dairy cow, if you own a dairy cow and drink its milk, are you the micro predator or the parasite? Yes, here we can assume that you are not taking care of the dairy cow because you can see that it is a mutualistic relationship. But here you have to assume that you are not taking care of it. So can you answer what you will be a micro predator, parasite or the pathogen? Or the predator, parasite, predator, or the micro predator. What you will be? Yes, definitely you will be the micro predator because you're not the killing it.